Hey guys, we're making a shelter in place corn soup. I know a lot of y'all are uh, struggling right now with everything that's going on. I uh, hope this helps you. I uh, kind of learned about this by accident. I wanted some corn and this is all they had available. So that's what I use. Four dollar can of corn. Enjoy. Got one Del Monte can of corn, which is 106 ounces. Two cans of mushrooms at four ounces. The Rattel, that's up to you. I just like it. It gives it a nice extra kick to it. This is homemade vegetable broth. I'll drop you a link of how I made that. I really need to make another video. And here's some green onion tops that I need to clean from the garden. I'm also going to use that because I don't have any onions. So, pretty simple here. Just take the corn, put it in the pot, the broth. I really like using a homemade broth, it kind of has a better flavor. It also uh, cuts the cost down. Two cans. Mushroom stems, one can of retail. Now I'm gonna add some rice and seasoning later, but I wanna start cooking it first. Uh, let the flavors blend, taste a little bit, and then I'm gonna add, I'll keep track of it so you'll know. I have an idea about what I'm gonna put in here, but the seasoning changes it a little bit. It's one of the nice things about having a garden. I need a little bit more onion tops. So I just come out here and cut them. I'm gonna actually eat one. Well, I have to drop it on the ground. I don't want a little bit. I like this straight. Some people don't. It's kind of strong. I'm going to go ahead, it's been heating for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. If you notice the broth and the um, rotel give it a little bit different color. But let's, uh, let's give it a taste, see what it tastes like. There we go. It's got a good flavor. Got a little bit of a kick to it, it might not need a lot of seasonings. Now, what I've done is I've cut these green onion tops with scissors. I have right at two cups. Now, you could add this on top of the soup after it was cooked. That would be perfectly fine as a garnishment and a flavor enhancer. But my mother has trouble chewing. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cook it. If you notice the corn soup is already boiling and we're going to let it go about another 20 minutes then we're going to taste it and then we're going to start adding the seasonings now I'm adding a little over one cup of rice if you wanted to make this go a lot further for budgetary reasons or food reasons you could easily add more broth, you could add more water, and add a lot more rice to this. And greatly increase the amount of food and reduce the cost. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of parsley flakes. The rosemary, I'm just gonna put just a, yeah, just like, there you go, that's it. Just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. Thyme is gonna be the same thing. Just, just a little. This is the one you have to really be careful with. I really like turmeric. I like the health benefits of it, but you've got to be so careful when you cook with it because it'll overpower the taste. 
So I'm just going to put just like the others. Just a little. You notice. And that right there might even be too much. I might have to add more broth. Go ahead and stir everything up. And I can tell right now that uh, this is going to be a little bit thicker than I want it to be. So I'm going to add another quart of broth. This is one of the reasons I really like making my broth because organic broth can be two, three dollars or more per quart, depending on where you get it. Where here, I made this probably for pennies because it was all leftovers. I needed more. I just pour it in. I don't have to be concerned about the cost because there's basically no cost. Went ahead and tasted it. And what I'm going to put is right here, I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon in there. And then I'm going to keep this off to the side because I believe it's, put it right here. That way if I need it, it's available. Well, right there. That way it won't fall. I tasted it, taste the corn came back out. I think it's going to be just perfect like it is. It really could use two raw onions and also about four bell peppers, but I do not have raw onions or bell peppers right now. Try it and see what you think, Mom. Mm. It's good. Real, 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 real good. Now this cost me less than, if I remember right, about $6 US. That's a lot of food. And if you notice, there's still room, so I could easily add two cups of rice, finish filling up that with water, and have a lot, a lot of food for six bucks. So if any of y'all are struggling out there right now, and you have a Sam's membership, I think this is about four dollars maybe 420 but it's about four bucks some water some rice you do not have to use the mushrooms uh, all the other things you can just put some basic seasoning in it with water and you've got a great low-cost survival soup finished product soup came out pretty good my curiosity got the better of me how much soup was actually in this uh, pot? We're gonna guesstimate. Let's find out, since we had two, if I uh, had added water and another cup of rice, where would I be? Okay. If you can see that, it's about right here. So basically, almost three cans. And uh, if you had a bigger pot, which I do, could have easily gotten three cans, maybe even four. With uh, rice and water. That's a lot this of food. Sleeveless. I got this can of corn, took the peeling off because I'm gonna use it for my garden, uh, because that was what was available. Decided how am I gonna use it? I thought, well, let's make corn soup. It turned out really good. I wasn't thinking of cost. What well, kind of was because you know it's obviously less money to buy this than a can. But if you don't use it, it it's not. So I kind of did some math just out of curiosity. Um, the way I cooked it today I had about six dollars in it because I didn't have to buy the broth because I made it, uh, which was about thirteen meals, cost uh, forty six cents a meal. If I would have added water, like one more can, two more cups of rice, it would have made 20 meals. And that would have been about 35 cents a meal. That's pretty low cost uh, food for lunch or dinner. Uh, I'm not saying it would be a complete meal, like really hearty meal, but it's good. Really good tasting soup. So uh, if you find yourself in a bind out there or you just want to eat some really good corn soup. This is a simple, easy way of doing it and makes a lot of food. 
And all you got to do is take it in, if you have a freezer, is take a little Tupperware container, uh, pour it in individual meals, or pour in what your family eat for one meal and freeze it. That's what I do. Take care of yourself out there. That's a guys. lot of food. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all take care of yourself out there.